is one of the world's most acclaimed leaders, according to Time and Newsweek. He survived 30 years of brutal dictatorship, 18 months in solitary confinement, and years in exile. Against all odds, he returned to his country and was elected president. We thought we won the fight. We thought, look, okay, you know, we'll have a happy life. But in a country that is barely above sea level. On this corner, we've seen almost five meters of beachfront lost. He faces a challenge that could destroy his nation. If we can't stop the seas rising, global warming will destroy the motives. And threaten the world. What is the plan if we can't stop global warming? Ultimately, we are talking about New York. You know, Manhattan is as low as Mali. Everything is worse than we originally thought. Eventually, we'll see 25 meters of sea level rise. If we do not act now, my island nation will be submerged by the rising sea. The president of Maldives made a splash by holding the first underwater cabinet meeting of the world. We would like to see people actually do something about it. China is the only party at these talks that doesn't want to deal. It's really between China and the US. We continue to shout even though we know that you're not really listening. There were attempts to change the text, but China blocked the change. Is this the document that you really thought it would be? What is your demand? What are you demanding here? We want to survive. We have a connection to the past, and we have a hope for the future. There are those who tell us that solving climate change is impossible. Well, I am here to tell you that we refuse to give up hope. We can lose many, many battles, but we cannot lose the war.